Hi, good evening. I'd like to welcome you back to Poem Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in, and certainly if you like the chapters we're covering, uh, please tune in to my channel here on Poem Praise 2. Now we are going to move right along in the um, How to Eat to Live. Uh, the next chapter I have for you this evening is Foods to Avoid. And the chapter reads as such. We should not be asking questions about what kind of foods to eat as much as we should be trying to eat one meal a day. This is where good health and the prolongation of life comes from. Good health and the prolongation of life come from abstaining, from filling our stomachs too frequently with food of any kind, good or bad. Of this I can assure you from self-experience. If we keep food going into our stomachs uh, only once every 24 hours or 48 hours and do not get the foolish idea that this cannot be done, then we can train our stomachs to eat once a week. And our stomachs will not call for food more than once a week. This has been tried. If we could eat one meal a week, we could live as long as Methuselah. We can get away from eating animal flesh and all the kinds of scavenger seafoods. Do not eat large fish that weigh over 50 pounds, such as canned tuna. Sometimes this canned tuna comes from a fish that weighs nearly a thousand pounds or more. Do not eat halibut, catfish, or carp. There is a cheap fish called buffalo, white buffalo, that you can eat, but do not eat any stale fish if you can help it. Even fish is not very good for us due to their animal-like instincts in the water, but we eat them. And it is not a sin to eat them, edible fish. Many of the bass fish that are found in lakes, rivers, and running streams, waters are good to eat. Whitefish, uh, channel fish, or chanel fish. Okay, which is better? River trout and most perch are good to eat. You may eat fish that uh, weigh from one and a half to four or five pounds. We were reared on the animal flesh that was the divinely prohibited flesh, the hog. We must not eat or put our hands on our carcasses of the hog or sit around a place where it is being slaughtered or cooked. We should not even get the odor of it in our nostrils. It is a sin to deliberately stand and smell it being slaughtered or cooked. The devil did this harm to you and me, to the people all over the earth. Of course, we cannot blame him for doing this because he was not created to do righteousness anyway. Do not think hard of them for anything they do or teach you to do because they are just doing their job. Nature has made them to be as they are. I pray Allah that he will remove them from the planet earth so they will not deceive and misguide people from the right way. 
Eat only one meal a day and do not take food between meals unless you are sick. A person that is sick and weak is excluded from the above said time of eating. Remember, do not eat those ugly horse beans that you have been eating, lima beans, field peas, etc. Eat only small navy beans. They are white and pink in color. There are also large beans of the same color, but do not eat the great big beans. Eat the small ones. Cook them thoroughly. Feed them to your children. Do not eat freshly baked cakes. Give them a, a day to dry out after baking. Do not eat Hurry bread to bake because it is better for us if it has been baked twice. Stay away from eating fried foods. Do not make a habit of filling your stomach with aged cheese. Eat cream cheese as much as possible. Well, all right, you know the way I said that? Yes, because I like the cream cheese. Yes, I do. So eat cream cheese as much as possible as it is better for your digestive system. Get a cream cheese. That's the cheese that's in a cheesecake. Show you right, like that Philadelphia cream cheese. Or the other day I had this one frosting. I was on top of this. Yeah, it had cream cheese, a little bit of butter, and some powdered sugar. Mixed all that together. Ooh, mm, talk about, yes, it was delicious, I'm trying to tell you. But let me get back to the story at hand. Now, stay away from eating all meats and vegetables that are canned and metal cans as much as possible. Sometimes we are forced to eat them because we do not have any other. Try and get your food canned in jars or while the food is in season. Buy it and can it in glass jars yourself. If you eat a vegetable meal, try and get fresh vegetables. If you can purchase them from a market, Remember to eat one meal a day, regardless to your type of work. You can live on one meal a day. This will help keep your doctor away from your door. Of course, eating one meal every two days or three days is even better. But you are not going to apply yourself to eating once every two days. Or three days. So try and eat one meal every 24 hours. Make a habit of this and you will feel better and have fewer ailments. You know, fewer things that ail you. It's ailments. I'll spell it for you. I don't know if I said that correctly, but it's A-I-L-M-E-N-T-S for ailments. Now that does complete the chapter in regards to foods to avoid. Now the next chapter, um, it be in thy will for me to uh, get to you, is going to be the safest way to eat. So we just had the foods to avoid. Now we're going to go into the safest way to eat. And that will be coming up soon here on Poem Praise 2. So until then, I certainly want you to be blessed and I'll holler at you later, y'all. Okay? All right now.